Oh man, can y'all believe it's it's just been a, a year since I did my last Toys R Us toy hunt video. I um, mean, I just still can't believe it. Now, of course, Toys R Us didn't close down all U.S. stores until like the 29th or 30th of June of last year, but still for me to make that last trip on June 15th, and then I put the video up like two days later because I, I get busy. I don't always have time to put the video up the, the same day, but to think back to how long it's been since Toys R Us closed down here in the U.S., Obviously, those of you who live in the UK, you guys saw of your guys' stores closed down in April of 2018, and then down in Australia, you guys, I think, had your stores closed down in August. Um, but man, do you think it's already been a year, pretty much a year here in the United States? Now, of course, it was supposed to be a permanent closure, like the company was supposed to be done. Um, Besides, oh, internationally, the stores are still open in, like, Europe, be, out in the UK, um, like, parts of Asia, maybe parts of Africa, and then up in Canada, they had new owners. So, the Canadian Toys R Us is no longer connected to, you know, the Toys R Us brand in general, but obviously still retain the rights to the name, but, but man, to think that Toys R Us has been closed down for about a year now. I mean, in some stores in the U.S. are closed a lot sooner than that. Because the liquidation started back in, like... Well, I mean, they had stores closed down as soon as, like, the beginning of the year last year. January, February, March, and then around March is when they decided, oh, we're just going to close all the stores. That we're done. But, you know, um... Somebody decided, you know, maybe the company can still live. Yeah, that maybe... They have to kind of start, kind of start from scratch, you know. First, start off with Jeffrey's Toy Box, which would only be in select grocery stores that were owned by Kroger, and then they said, "Uh, you know, we're gonna bring Toys R Us as a pop-up shop, like maybe have it open up in malls, you know, maybe smaller retail spaces than what Toys R Us previously occupied, and a lot of former Toys R Us locations have already been turned into other things." Some of them are like Ollie's discount, I don't know what the place is called, bargain warehouse. We don't have that here in Kansas, but um, I know other parts of the U.S. have that Ollie's like discount stores. Or they're turning the big lots or Bed Bath & Beyond or some other retail location that could occupy the spot the Toys R Us occupies. Unfortunately, the one here in the Wichita area sadly is not been bought but that's also a good thing because with the company want to revive all their locations um uh, well not all the locations but just to revive the company in general i'm honestly hoping that means that one day we'll be you know in the market again for toys r us and maybe they'll use that location or they'll find another location in a busier area because the area that my toys r us was in was in an area that's not too bad but there was a lot of like highway construction in that area so maybe it wasn't really the best to have it there at that time even though by the time that Toys R Us closed the highway part of the highway was done right there but still I don't know just crazy to think about it and also I've noticed that not having Toys R Us around has really it's really kind of hurt you know toys and retail in general and I thought maybe my area sucked but it seems like almost everywhere else over the U.S. um are having just as bad as luck as I'm having. Um, trying to find any new figures. Like Walmart and Target aren't really stocking anything new right now. Unless you live like in Chicago or Los Angeles or somewhere else. They're going to be more likely to stock more figures. But I think also maybe there's problems going on with with the ports maybe. Where we get all of our merchandise. And you know I'm not going to try to go political. But I know Donald Trump's been saying some stuff to China. That's probably affecting what we get. Because obviously all this, you know, yeah, American companies, WWE Mattel, toys made overseas in China, which whatever, you know, if it saves them money, but I don't know. That's part of the reason why I've just kind of not been toy hunting as much because I just haven't been able to find anything and I'm just going to consider just buying stuff online. It seems like Amazon's um, doing a better job of getting stuff in stock and bring stock and get stuff directly from China. They don't wait for the stuff to be sent here to the U.S. like Walmart and Target and Amazon do. Even though I think Amazon, like I said, I think they have better luck. 
Um, yeah, so, um, I'm honestly hoping that Toys R Us will make its comeback here soon, not just doing the pop-up shops, but they'll actually open more stores slowly. I know it's like we're today in an age where more people want to shop online than buy in a brick and mortar retailer. And, 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 you know, they'd rather go to one place like Walmart or Target where they can go get their, their clothing, their food, uh, electronics, hardware, and, you know, go shop for toys, you know, for their kids or where it be for us collectors. Um, I don't know. Toys R Us was such a great experience when I was a kid, but, you know, I think about that a, a lot that, of course, it was great when I was a kid. Yeah, as an adult, I know what I'm looking for, but as a kid, it's like, you want to get everything you see there, whether you want it or not. You know, I, I when I was a kid, I was picking toys at random. Even if, if it's one if one I already had, obviously I wasn't going to get it, but if it's one I didn't have, I didn't care who it was. If it was like in this Turtles line or Power Rangers or whatever it was, I was going to buy it regardless. I mean, I got to buy whatever I could I could afford. Um, of course, as an adult, like I said, I, I could pretty much just know what I'm going to collect. You know, but... Whatever, still, I, I enjoyed Toys R Us the last few times I went there before the store's closure, um, and even when I said, like, five years ago I wasn't gonna shop there as much anymore when I made my, uh, beginning of the end, um, Toys R Us video, which, yeah, I mean, I, I saw it back at that time, and I wasn't trying to say I knew it was gonna happen, I just was hoping it wasn't gonna happen, because I see well, all the other people who were saying that Toys R Us was not doing so well. The people that owned Toys R Us previously, which was uh, KKR, which is Kravis, Colbert, Roberts, uh, Fornado Realty Trust, and then Bain Capital, which I think they're like the more well-known of the three. They did a, a piss-poor job of keeping Toys R Us afloat. They didn't care because of how they acquired Toys R Us and all the other companies they acquired. So then it was just another way to make money. And I'm hoping the new company now that goes by the name of TRU Kids, that they'll do a better job. They'll, at least, if anything, also have a better online presence. Because Toys R Us' online store wasn't as good as it was supposed to be. And really, uh, making the mistake of not working with Amazon was uh, probably one of the things that pretty much helped kill the original Toys R Us. Because uh, it was actually 20 years ago, Toys R Us and Amazon partnered with each other, and then... Toys R Us was like, no, we're not going to work Amazon. We're just going to do our own thing. Well, look, Amazon's a giant. They sell, like, everything. In fact, if Amazon had their own brick-and-mortar retail shops, they would be better than Walmart and Target. But, oh, well, I mean, they don't really need brick-and-mortar because, you know, online's kind of been the new way to go. But still, if Toys R Us could approve that when they do relaunch, then hopefully they can. And then, of course, KB Toys was supposed to come back, but they've delayed that, and who really knows if KB Toys is going to come back. Well, I guess we'll see if, that, uh, if that'll happen. I think the news that Toys R Us was saved from permanent closure as a company, I think, was what maybe stopped KB Toys from opening up shops last year. But we'll we'll see what happens. Um, of course, Toy Hunting series, as I said in Toy Hunting, if I already see episode 20, I'm going to take a break for a while from Toy Hunting. Just maybe until, I don't know, September or October. I don't know, unless I hear that anything new has popped up in my area or... If I make a trip to Walmart and I finally see something new, new basics, new elites, um, I don't know. Then maybe I'll do a video. Maybe I'll do a vlog every now and then. It just won't be a Toy Hunting video. Otherwise, uh, Toy Hunting Varsity, like I said, will just be a high ass. I'll just try to go back to unboxings. I'm going to try to buy some stuff off of Amazon, buy some stuff off Ringside. Uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, just like that. I don't know. I've just been kind of taking a break from toy collecting, too, just because. I don't know, a little bit of burnout. It's nice to take a break every now and then. And then just wrestling in general when it comes to WWE. I, like everyone else, I kind of see WWE's not doing so well. But, I mean, whatever. It's it's not like it was 20 years ago. Things change. But, you know, hopefully WWE can start doing something better. I don't think, like, AEW's going to put WWE out of business. But I think they'll at least make WWE step up their game a little. At least I hope. I'm not going to get on the bandwagon and say, oh, yeah, AEW. I mean, I already did that with TNA and, well. Or Impact, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, Impact's still around. They're doing better. But, you know, it's kind of like a little too, little too late in my opinion of Impact. They just seem like a glorified indie promotion nowadays. But, I mean, not to take it away from the wrestlers they have there. But, it seems like nobody's going to really be a true threat to WWE. I mean, the last true threat was WCW. And, well, we all know what happened to WCW. But, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, that's another reason why I've been collecting wrestling figures as much. I don't know, I'm just trying to take a step back for a while. I'm mostly focused on collecting other stuff like Digimon cards. I've been getting into those again. And 
and just collecting whatever else I want to collect. Of course, you know, like my Pokemon and and just you know, I like to try to collect other stuff. But I don't know. I, you know, I definitely want to get that Slim Jim Macho Man because that that looks so awesome. As a Macho Man fan, I gotta have it. Plus, I didn't think I was gonna have an absolute favorite. Other than the first to find moments, Macho Man, which, man, I don't know, that Slim Jim Macho Man, just, it's a cool looking figure. I'm definitely going to pre-order when it goes up for pre-order on um, Entertainment Earth this coming Tuesday. But, um, yeah, that, that's really all I've got to talk about for now, this little channel update. Remembering Toys R Us, I'll have to do a Baby and Nerd Toys R Us video where I talk about my favorite Toys R Us memories, maybe. And, um, yeah, I've also shared the link on my Facebook and Twitter pages to Episode 4 of Toy Hunter for RHC or toy hunt thing because apparently episodes 2 through 12 I did not realize I misspelled hunting because I did on the first time when I made the intro and then just left it alone and then finally when I did episode 13 I changed the intro I was like wow what the heck how did I spell hunting wrong so enjoy toy hunt thing episode 4 I'll put a link down in the description of course you can go back and watch all my other toy hunts I also did a I think episode 2 I also did a toy hunt at Toys R Us and I also did a Toys R Us tour. Maybe I'll put all those videos in the description. Maybe even my other Toys R Us hunts. As I only did a total of five, which three of them were separate and the two of them were together with Walmart and Target. But, uh, yeah, still can't believe it's been about a year now since the last time I stepped foot in Toys R Us for they closed all their stores. Of course, like everybody else, I thought it was going to be permanent. Thankfully, it's not, but I don't know. I'll keep my fingers crossed because I am a little skeptical. I mean, I want to see the new Toys R Us succeed. But at the same time, it's just, with the change in, you know, the retail clients, you know, all these stores closing, Kmart and Sears are on their way out, even though they, they supposedly saved the company, but, yeah, we'll see about that. Payless Shoes is gone, Radio Shack is gone, uh, another shopping chain called Shopco, they're they're going to be gone this month, and we only had Shopco for like a minute here in the Kansas. Well, there's there's some Shopcos in Kansas, but they're not in Wichita, but I know, I'm good off point. But, you know, with the current retail apocalypse, you know, Seems like Target and Walmart and a few others will still be around to compete with Amazon, but let's just hope Toys R Us will learn from their mistakes of the previous owners and we'll see them maybe not return to glory, but at least just just be an awesome toy store again. That's that's all I think any of us could ask for. Anyways guys, feel free to comment and let me know how you guys feel about the planned revival of Toys R Us. Uh, hopefully it goes for the best and we can at least have a cool place to go to just to browse around for toys. Even if you don't always find what you want, at least maybe it'll make it better so maybe Walmart and Target won't slack off. Because I noticed when Toys R Us slacked off that Walmart and Target at least actually came through for it. But now, just like I said, I feel like they're taking a hit too because of it. But anyways, guys, I um, want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll have some new videos for you guys soon. I'll try to do trade card videos again. I'll try to do toy unboxings. And like I said... When I hear that there are new toys in my area, I will bring back the Toy Anthony series. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Rock on and keep collecting.